A former intelligence chief in Mali, San Luis Keita, has accused Islamic rights group Muslim Rights Concern, Murik, of collecting $200,000 from a Boko Haram affiliate. Specifically, Keita said Murik collected the money from Islamic State for West Africa province to destabilize Nigeria. The intelligence chief made the allegation in Abidjan, the Côte d'Ivoire capital, at a news conference. Keita, who addressed the media on August 7, 2020, said the money was given to Murik to recruit young Fulani men living in the southwest of Nigeria to destabilize that part of the country. However, Murik has refuted the allegation. The man, the human rights group, described the report as a wicked concussion and a lie from the pit of Jaman. Murik's reaction was signed by his director, Professor Ishak Akitola, on Tuesday. The statement reads, saying, Our attention has been drawn to a rumor making the rounds in mainstream and social media circles that Murik received $200,000 from ISWAP. It is a wicked concussion and a lie from the pits of Jahannam. We declare clearly, categorically and unequivocally that we have never had any contact with ISWAP or any other group. It is simply illogical. We have always condemned every act of terror, whether it's happened within or outside Nigeria. The motto of Morik is dialogue, not violence. So how can we descend so low as to collect money from this group of people? Such lies will not fly. The group themselves know that we can never support them. So how can they give us money? The allegation is dead on arrival. We are disciplined. We are a disciplined group. We have never been known to engage in any violent protest or attack since we established Murik in 1994. It is most diabolical to accuse a group that has pursued peaceful advocacy for 26 years of having any connection with terrorist group. It is an attempt to give a dog a bad name in order to hang it. Those who have been Persecuting Nigerian Muslims are behind the false allegation. They have been used to oppressing Muslims and spreading false propaganda without anybody stopping them. Until Murik began to use superior logic to confront them. Hmm. Superior logic. Hmm. Really? They scamper for s to safety with their tails between their legs like frightened dogs. They became jittery. They are scared of Murik and they think... The only way to continue their anti-Muslim activities is to first get Murik out of the way using foul means, including threats of assassination and wicked lies like this. Their methods are not only cowardly but devilish. They are desperate. They have been using fake Islamic organizations and fictitious Muslim names to attack us because they are cowards. We are very we have received death threats. These attacks are coming from those who feel threatened by Murik's defense of Allah giving fundamental human rights of Nigerian Muslims. Those who have been oppressing Muslims in Nigeria are jittery. They think the only way out is to eliminate or use or smear our reputation, but they have failed. Just two months ago, they used a fake Islamic organization to accuse the director of Murik of collecting 50 million naira from Fulani leaders in order to destabilize Yoruba. Yoruba land. They label us as slaves and agents of the caliphate. We respect we suspect that the misinformation was sponsored by those clamoring for the creation of Odudua Republic, which Murik has opposed. We remain committed to the unity and indivisibility of Nigeria. Contrary to lies that we received this huge amount of money, we can prove that our organization is very poor. Omoyele Shoore, a young presidential candidate who visited our office during the 2019, 2019 presidential election, was shocked to see the poor condition of our office. He found a desolate office. No computers, no printers, no photocopying machines, no scanners, no air conditioners, no plasma TV, just tables and chairs. We had just one laptop. Shore said he was surprised that a group whose impact is felt throughout Nigeria operates from such a poor environment. Shore is still alive and can be reached. Could we still be poor if we had received 
50 million naira from the Fulanis and 200,000 dollars from eSwap. By the way, we have the right to collect contributions from Nigerian Muslims, including Fulani, but eSwap is another cup of tea. We have we have not touched terrorist money with a long pole. Hmm. We will not touch terrorist money with a long pole. Besides, we could not pay the salaries of our staff and we had to cry out to Nigerian Muslims on social media concerning our plight. That was just last month. Of course, Nigerian Muslims promptly came to our aid from the north and south. Muslims donated with passion. Some gave us 1,000 Naira, others gave us gave more. And a 10-year-old gay donated 500 Naira from allowance. Is that terrorist money? How can anybody suggest that we collected money from ISWAP or ISIS? Our condition started improving as soon as Nigerian Muslims intervened. We put the Nigerian money contributed to good use. We started renovating and extending our office. We boldly and proudly flee Nigeria's green, white green flag in front of our office. Perhaps our improved condition annoyed our oppressors. And that explains the latest attempt to link us with Iswap. Okay. Ego will say Akiko story story. Hmm. Okay, now you want a Omo now to come and to come and testify, to come and rescue you, to come and bail you out. Okay. Well, I I I one good thing is that it is not even somebody it's, it's not say somebody from Nigeria that is even accusing you. The person has name. So this idea of a uh, whether it is old doer or those who do not like uh, Christians, I, I'm sure the man is not even a Nigerian. The person that accuses you of that, I think you should direct your question and all these things to the person because Nigerians are not even ready to listen to all this, your explanation. You know, just like the Bible always says that, that by their fruit you shall know them. People cannot even vouch for you or vouch for you. Okay, vouch for you that say, oh, whether you collected the money because you are antecedent because most of the things that he, he says, it's not as if maybe one cannot uh, fight for their for human rights or for their group uh, rights but the way at the manner to which he does it you know it's beyond it's o always illogical because things that do not have anything to do with a uh, religion this man will just try to to bring religion into it and that is why people do not even understand the kind of a professor he claims he is so you are telling Shawarena to come and testify to this <laughs> what is his business now you say you have been getting money because uh, your condition has started changing and you have, they are, they, are, they are not angry. I think it is not Nigeria. It is not Odudua. Somebody called his name and the name of the person is being mentioned. So you just have to address your whatever to that person. And how the person got to know that you collected the money, two of you should go and dig it out. But no Nigeria is going to listen to all of this that this man is talking about. So guys, let us hear your opinion. Do you believe what a, a, their director has said? That they have nothing to do with it. You know, with all those explanations, do you buy it? Do you think the, the explanation really we fly you know from your own end whatever you think please let us know in the comment section thank you